Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you've been following along for a while, you may remember that when I originally redid the windows on our 1968 Playmore, I had some trouble getting them to seal up correctly. Uh, so I just wanted to make a short video today that would explain the solution to the troubles that I was having originally. So the first thing to say is the windows that are in this 1968 Playmore and I believe all the Playmores, and you probably find these in other campers as well, uh, they are very similar to the Hare model 3500, 3600 uh, Jalousy windows uh, that were common in a lot of campers. But these are actually a Philips brand window, and that may be the reason why I have some issues with getting the seals in these windows. You know, uh, the seals that I ordered are for the Hare 3500 series, but these are Philips windows. So, but I'm here to tell you that those seals do work and they are the correct seals for these windows. So a natural question that I get asked a lot about these windows is where did I get my seals at? I buy everything from VintageTrailerGaskets.com. He runs a great website to help you identify the seals you need. Uh, and also you can just call him and ask him questions. He's a great guy. There'll be a link below this video that has the type of gasket that I used and how many feet. Of course, ordered more than I needed. Check that out. If you've got one of these old Playmores, that'll be what you need uh, if you have these same Phillips windows. So the biggest problem I had putting the seals in, if you go back and watch those videos, uh, everything else went pretty smooth on them, except for this top fin seal. And it has to fit in this little channel right here and go all the way across. And you have to put this in before you screw this top piece of the window frame into the sides. The problem I was having is this little bit that sticks off that's supposed to go in that channel is not long enough and apparently just nobody makes one that's long enough to fit in this channel. So what you have to do is you have to run a utility knife or a pair of scissors down this little top piece and open it up and then tuck both of those little pieces into that channel and then it won't fall out. What was happening with the little, when I was initially putting it in, is I could get it in there, but then the action of opening the window would just force that out and fall out of the window. So, not ideal. What this does is it helps water run off of this window without running in under that window pane. So, you know, it's not 100% necessary because water does a pretty good job of just dripping away from it, but it does help and it should be there. I'm glad that I've finally figured it out. All I had to do was call uh, VintageTrailerGaskets.com and talked to him for about two minutes and he said here I'll send you a picture. He sent me a picture. Worked beautifully. Exactly like he said it would. So let me show you close-ups of uh, what I'm saying there. So this part here is cut so that those two bits can go into this channel right here. Let me show you how to cut that. Man, it is noisy in the neighborhood today. See, just like that and go all the way down. So once you have that little bit opened up, you want to make sure that the little short piece that you cut and that little flange goes in that rail and that both of those are tucked in there completely. And this takes two hands usually. Yeah. Well, there, okay, you can get it started. Yeah. And you're on. <laughs> Thanks so. though. Keep that. Yep. Mm hmm. Like that. Yeah, here, I got it. What's up, bud?
Hey, don't run into the camera, bud. Hey. I'm gonna knock that over. Master Blaster. There we go. Okay, so when you get ready to reassemble your window, you don't want to just go ahead and screw it back on there. You need to put a little bit of gutter sealant on the ends of uh, your window frame before you put it back together. And you can see do you, want, do you want to be on camera? Generally, if you look at the parts that you've taken apart, you'll see uh, little areas where there's a little yeah. bit of leftover gutter sealant, and that's where you want to reapply it. Essentially, uh, anywhere where this is going to make contact with the side, put a little bit of gutter sealant, and that will prevent water from getting in between those two pieces. Yep. Yep. When I say gutter sealant, I mean this right here, just yeah. regular old gutter sealant like you would use for uh, your downspouts or anything like that. It's meant to seal aluminum. What do you think about that, Simon? Good. It's good. Who runs Barter Town? Master Blaster. I want to apply that sealant along the ends of this and then put that down and run your screws back in and that'll make it nice and uh, watertight. And then you do the same down at the bottom. I'm not, I, I've already done the bottoms on these. I'm not taking that apart again to do, uh, but. So a utility knife works, but uh, scissors work nice too, because it kind of helps guide it through there. So you, you're cutting pretty close to that because you got to get all of that crammed in that little channel. have it. So that's going to do it for this video and I think that's going to do it for this camper as well because it's going to some new owners that are going to pick it up here in just a couple of days. I'm going to get the rest of these windows in it and get it ready to roll. Don't worry though, there's lots of camper content uh, still to come. We've got our Aljo photo booth to finish, we've got our Calcraft camper to finish up and then we've got that mobile scout that we tore down. Uh, recently that's going to get rebuilt into probably a photo booth. We'll see. Um, so, lots more to come. Thanks for watching. Please make sure and like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.